Hey, Miranda, it's been a while. Is that you, Emma? Hey, long time. How are you? I guess it's been about two years since you quit the company. Good to hear from you. What's up? Well, don't be surprised. I'm getting married. Seriously? That's awesome. Congrats. Are you planning on a wedding ceremony? Of course. I want to invite this family and close friends. I've always dreamed of having one overseas somewhere. Not sure when. Up to schedule, I suppose. Is your boyfriend busy? Is that it? About him. He was married until pretty recently. Okay. Is that possibly... No, no, not an affair or anything like that. He got divorced after realizing he loved me. It was a decision he made on his own. Okay, I get it. He wasn't getting along with his wife recently, I guess. He realized how much I meant to him and finally made up his mind to tell his wife. Not really sure about all this. So you're saying you guys are starting out clean after his divorce, right? That's exactly right. Our relationship is clean, nothing messy. Oh, and also, I plan on being a full-time housewife, so I already submitted my resignation. Tomorrow's my last day. Your dream was to quit once you found the right guy, wasn't it? Yes, you remember. When you quit because you were getting married, I was so envious. I remember you saying that, lol. So, what's your husband like? He's a client, a regular at a company. Always popped in for meetings or what have you. You may even remember him, Miranda. Really? Wonder who it could be. Bob Edwards from the U Corporation. Remember him? What? Whenever he came to the office, he would always say hello to me. So nice. I always sort of had an attraction to him. Whenever I was making him some coffee or bringing some documents, he always complimented me. It was like love at first sight for both of us. Sure, is that it? That's more than enough. His affection just seeps through. It hit me like a blast of fresh air. Right. When did the divorce thing come up? Bob's college buddy works at our company. When I went out to lunch with the others at a nearby restaurant, Bob was there with other clients. It was then that I overheard him say that his divorce went through and he was ready to move on. Right then and there I thought, he did this for me. Okay, right. He was hinting that he was all ready to marry me. Right now, I'm waiting for his official proposal. Can't wait. I think I'm in heaven. What am I going to do? Hey, Emma. What? What is it? You're just joking. What you just wrote, right? You're pranking me. Is that it? What? Why would I do that? Why would I prank you? And why would I joke about such a happy time in my life? <laughs> oh, I forgot. When you were working, you were in charge of Bob's account, weren't you? I get it, you liked him, is that it? No, hey, Emma. I don't know how you met and got married to your current husband, but I guess everything turned out A-OK. -okay. Emma, I got something to say. I mean, think about it, Bob's gonna be my husband. Bob is my husband. What? When I quit because I was getting married, I thought I told everyone. Really? I don't remember. But Bob is divorced now, so... Wait a sec. Okay, I get it. So you, Miranda, you're his ex-wife. Darn, sorry. I was so happy I lined everyone. I didn't realize... Hey, Emma. Don't worry. I'll make him happy on your behalf. So rest assured. We did get a divorce, on paper. But we immediately reinstated the marriage. It's a long story. What? What are you talking about? Now you're the one that's joking. I can't talk about the details. Privacy concerns, you know? But there was a complicated issue involving Bob's parents. Well, as a result, he had to use my maiden name. In order to do so, we had to first get divorced and then remarry. That way, the paperwork would be official. Bit confusing, I know. Anyway, it was the quickest way to solve the issue. Are you being serious? What Bob said about the divorce going through and everything was ready. What he meant was he was ready to cut ties with his family. What? So Bob is... His last name changed, but he is still my husband. But... Wait on a second! But Bob, he still loves me! What does he think? He has a say in it too! Sorry to be so direct, but Emma, this is all your imagination. He had no intention of marrying you. Just to my imagination? Yes, Bob's standing right here next to me. What? 
He's there with you? He says he knows you as a secretary at one of the companies he has accounts with, that's all. He of course greets and treats his top clients with courtesy. In business, it's a given. In other words, his smile and compliments are just part of doing business. What? Say again. Hold on one second. That can't be right. I was planning on getting married to Bob. I had submitted my resignation. This is not happening. How could you do this to me? Oh, BTW. Did you verify any of this with Bob himself? Verify? You know, about the divorce or about what he thinks of you. Basic stuff. You haven't even conveyed your own feelings to him, did you? That's... Our hearts are intertwined. We don't need to verify any of that. This is awful! How could you? This is deceitful! Pay me compensation for emotional distress! Okay, I get it. You did not verify his feelings or check on the situation ahead. Am I right so far? But our hearts are in the right place! We're connected! That's what I mean by just your imagination. Over hasty, jumping the gun. Whatever you want to call it. Besides, you don't even know Bob's number or even his line. What? I was, you know, if our hearts are in intertwined. But in reality, it was all your imagination. The reality is Bob is married to me, and he opted to cut ties with me in order to spend his life with me. Now that's love. Are you still going to insist that your hearts are intertwined? Wait, this is not happening. What? I'm sorry, but I'm not comfortable with you, Emma. You scare me. I'm gonna block your line, sorry. Hey, wait, please! Emma was a former co-worker. We were a little friendly, I suppose, but I never took her for someone that would invent some fantasy. A former co-worker told me about her later on. After that line conversation, she immediately tried to reinstate her job resignation, but... It was not to be, and she had no choice but to resign. Several days after that, my friend said she saw Emma trying to ambush Bob outside his office. But Bob had already transferred to another office, related to issues concerning his family. But Emma did not know this and continued to wait outside the office for him to appear. Finally, someone called complaining about a suspicious person. Eventually, the police arrived and took her away. She apparently went back to her parents' place and is now receiving counseling. So I hear. Hey Bestie, I need to talk to you about something. Duke has been acting really distant lately and it's starting to worry me. Oh no, not again. What has he done this time, Anna? I've never been a fan of him, even though he's my boss, you know that. I know Angie, but lately he has been so cold and distant. I feel like I'm constantly chasing after his attention and it's exhausting. Ugh. That's the worst. I never understood why you're still with him. I don't know Angie. I guess I keep hoping things will change, but it feels like I'm fighting and losing a battle. It's getting harder to ignore. Well, maybe it's time you have a serious talk with him. You need to let him know how his behavior is making you feel. Communication is the key, girl. You're right, bestie. I need to have an honest conversation with him about where we stand. Exactly. Lay it all out on the table. If he truly cares about it, he'll listen and try to make things right. And if he doesn't, well, you know what to do. Yeah, I've been avoiding confronting the issue, but it's time to face it head on. Absolutely, Anna. Remember, your happiness should never take a back seat. He's your husband. Table your misgivings to him. I'll do that, Angie. Thank you so much for your advice. Anything for my mistress and my best friend. Hey, stop that mistress stuff. You're my best friend, and that's what matters. Are you coming to the house today? I'm not sure. I did most of the cleaning yesterday. But I'll be coming in tomorrow. Alright, honey. Take care of yourself and baby Jason, and don't forget that I'm always here for you. Thank you, love. Your support means the world to me. I'll talk to Duke and see if we can work things out. That's the spirit, girl. You got this. Thanks, girl. Wish me luck. Good luck, Anna. Cheering you on. Babe, we need to talk. I've been feeling really frustrated with your behavior lately. Oh, great. Another complaint that couldn't wait till I came home. What did I do now? Don't dismiss it like that. It's important to address these issues. You have been distanced and constantly glued to your phone. After that day you asked me about the trust fund, you've been acting weird. Seriously, Anna? Are we really doing this right now? I have a life outside of, you know. And what's the stupid talk about trust fund? I was just curious. I understand, but it's about funding a balance. I just want to feel like a priority in this marriage. Well, maybe if you didn't constantly nag and overreact about every little thing, I wouldn't feel the need to escape into my phone. 
I'm not overreacting, Duke. I just want to feel valued and heard in our marriage. Is that too much to ask? Don't nag and overreact. That's not true at all. Valued and heard? Please, you're always playing the victim and making everything about you. It gets exhausting, Anna. I can't believe you're saying this. I thought we were supposed to support and uplift each other. Instead, you're belittling my concerns. Look, I'm tired of all these conversations. Reflect on your own behavior instead of constantly pointing fingers at me. I can't believe you're turning this around on me. Why are you being defensive? I'm only trying to communicate my feelings. Well, maybe if you communicate it in a less dramatic and accusatory way, we could have a productive conversation. This isn't about being dramatic. It's about addressing issues in our relationship, babe. Fine, Anna. If you want to make a big deal out of nothing, go ahead, but don't expect me to listen to you. I'm, t I'm not trying to make a big deal out of nothing. I just want us to work through our issues together. Whatever, Anna. I'm tired of these chats. If you're so unhappy, maybe it's best if we divorce and figure things out. Is that what you really think will solve our problems? A divorce? Maybe it's what we both need right now. Let's take some time to think about what we really want. I'm so sorry, babe, but I don't want a divorce. I just want our relationship back to normal. We have a lot of ahead of us. Let's make this marriage work. Please, babe. Then stop complaining. I do a lot for you. You gotta stop being insecure. I'm in a meeting right now. Talk to you later. Anna, where the hell did you go? I come home to find the entire house a mess. The dog's unfed and a nanny taking care of our son. What's going on? Duke, I just went grocery shopping for you. I promise once I'm back, I'll clean the house. Feed and once I'm back, I'll clean the house. Feed and walk the dogs. And we leave the nanny off her duty. Angie was off today, so I had to call a nanny to watch the baby while I shop. Seriously, Anna? I'm tired of your stupidity and laziness. I didn't marry you to have a big stee for a home. I want a clean and a sparkling house, and my son taken care of. Is that too much to ask? I understand, babe. I'm really sorry. I'll make sure it's spotless when you get back. You think saying sorry is enough? You're not just my wife. You are my personal maid. Come back right now. Drop the groceries and pack your things. I want you out of my house. No, Duke, please. I can't believe you're saying this. I'll, I'll change, I swear. Give me more chance, please. I love you. Love? You call this love? I'm done with you, Anna. Find your own way. Duke, please. way. Duke, please reconsider. I'll do anything to make it up to you. Please forgive me for the sake of our son. I'll never let the house get like this again. I don't have time for this. I'm going out right now with my son. When I come back, I want a clean house. Dogs fed and walked. And you gone. Leave the keys on the table. If you're gone, maybe I'll think about forgiving you. Duke, please, let me go with my son. He's still a baby and he needs his mother. Needs his mother and you left him with a nanny? Please, Duke, don't take him away. Goodbye. I promise, Duke, I'll clean up the dogs and leave. I'm really sorry for everything, but please, he need my baby. Sorry for your damn self. Bye. Hey, Anna, where are you? Guess what I saw a few hours ago. What? Your stepsister is Bella in the sitting room. No way. Are you serious? What could she be doing there? I honestly have no idea. This is super weird. I know, right? They even made out. What? Made out? Now I get what is happening. What is happening? Talk to me, Bay. Never mind, Ange. I know what to do. You sound strange, Bay. By the way, you have been gone for almost two days. It's unlike you to leave Jason for so long. When are you coming back? I'll be home soon, Ange. Just keep an eye on my son and make sure he's properly cared for. Of course, Anna. I will. Hey, Nini. What's with the news with Bella and Duke lately? Ugh, Anna, can you stop barging into my DMs? I'm just trying to have some peace here. And Duke saw the better woman and chose her. Simple as that. Oh, please, don't feed me that garbage. You're just a liar and flimsily covering up for your sister, who is a homebreaker. Ugh, wow, Anna. That's a bit harsh coming from a goody to shoes like you. Why are you being so salty? It's really not that big of a deal. Not a big of a deal? So, breaking my marriage of four years and making Duke end our marriage, not a big deal to you? Look, Anna, it's a free world and people can make their own choices. Duke chose to be with Bella. Get over it. Get over it? <laughs> making a man turn his attention away from his family has its own consequences, you know. And how is that my business, Anna? You and your sister have always been jealous of my marriage, but stooping this low? 
You could have done better, love. Jealous? That's not in my dictionary, Anna. You're the miserable and pathetic loser who has always been unhappy with her low life and thinks people like Duke can make you feel a monk. Are you serious? I'm happy with my own life. Unlike your sister, who constantly craves attention and seeks validation from guys. <laughs> You're seriously paint, Anna. I'm sorry, but Duke found a better woman. Bella is giving him love and peace of mind. And apparently, he never got those from you. Love and peace of mind from Bella? That's new. Everyone knows how she flirts with anyone who gives you the time of day. I won't be surprised if she dumps Duke for the next rich guy that comes her way. How dare you say that? Don't cross the line, Anna, or I'm gonna make sure you regret every single word you just said about my sister. What will you do? Tell your mom and sister and ask them to fight me? You know what? I'm done with you. I can't believe I'm wasting my time on a, on a loser like you. Just stay away from me and Duke. You and Duke? Don't tell me you're involved with him too. I meant stay away from Duke and Bella. She can have him, darling. I'm coming over shortly to pick up my stuff and drop the divorce papers. Perfect. Go straight to the basement and pack up your trash. This is where I kept it for you. You kept it for me? Uh, I meant where Bella kept it for you. Uh, whatever. Bye. Hey, Anna. Long time no chat. How have you been? Hey, Angie. Yeah, it's been a while. I've been good. Thanks. How about you? I've been a little worried lately. Are you still together with my boss, Duke? I've been seeing your stepsisters coming and going every now and then, and I'm wondering what is happening. Wait, what? I haven't been to Duke's house in weeks. The last I heard, he was dating Bella. And Bella. Why? Is something going on? Well, yesterday, Nini showed up at Duke's house. It's strange, you know. I'm getting a weird feeling that Duke is playing some kind of a game. Nini? I had no idea she was involved with the Duke. I thought it was just Bella. He ended our marriage because of Bella, but I had no clue he was seeing Nini as well. Whoa, hold on. Ended your marriage because of Bella? What happened? I'm not exactly sure. As you know, everything has been going downhill for a while. And then suddenly, he lost interest and sent me divorce papers. He didn't give me a proper explanation, but later I found out that it was because of Bella. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, Anna. I had no idea. It's totally okay, love. I moved on, and now in a better place. That's more like it, babe. You don't need him to survive, or even live. He doesn't deserve someone as amazing as you. Exactly! And I'm moving towards fighting for custody for Jason. That's good to know, Anna. You've always been a great person and friend irrespective of my status as a cleaner. I'll always be here for you and Jason. Don't forget that. Thank you, Bay. Your support means the world to me. I feel like shit right now, but I won't let them keep me down. That's the spirit, Anna. Stand up for yourself and let them know that their actions won't break you. Especially my narcissistic boss. I'll try my best, bestie. It's just tough when I know how much my stepsisters hate me and don't want me to be happy. And the one person I thought loved me is not only a huge narcissistic, but walking red flag. Just tired, girl. I don't know why my life is like this. You are stronger than you think, Anna. Don't let their negativity consume you. Remember, you deserve a future full of love and happiness. Stay strong for your own son, Bay. I'll keep that in mind, girl. Thank you for always being there for me. It's okay, love. I'm always gonna be here for you. Thank you so much, love. How is my son, Jackson? He missed my baby so much. He's doing great, Anna. I help take care of him during the day after I'm done cleaning, and the nannies take over the night. I'm worried, Angie. With my sister constantly in that house? I worry for my baby. I worry for Jason, too. We need to get him out of that house. But we have a plan extensively about this. Oh my god, you're right, Ange. I'll have to start playing towards this. Thank you so much for all that you do. You're welcome, love. Back to my boss. I'm jelly worried about the games he might be playing with your stepsister. Look, I understand your concern, but let's not jump into conclusions. Probably Nini is going to Duke's house based on the fact that Duke is her sister's boyfriend. I'm not jumping into conclusions. He's always involved romantically with equally with each sister whenever they come over. Whoa, what? That is super strange. Duke is definitely up to something. You're right, Anna. It's just frustrating because both sisters are completely oblivious of Duke's involvement with them. Oh my god, this is terrible. To be honest, it's super complicated and cringy. But have you considered that this could be a step up or something? I mean, I can't shake the feeling that Duke is up to something fishy. I never thought about it that way. It's possible, I suppose. I know my boss. He's definitely not a saint. I'll try to do some nosing around and know what I can find out. That's great, darling. Keep me updated on your findings. And always look out for my PB, please. Sure, Anna. I will. Chat later. Bye. Hey, Anna. 
I need to tell you something. I overheard my boss speaking to Nini about giving him access to some trust fund money. Wait, what? Trust fund money? That's actually the exact reason why Duke started acting weird towards me. Wow, that's crazy. Do you have any idea if there's a trust fund in your name? Or your stepsister? Honestly, I have no idea. I never heard anything about a trust fund in our family. Even if there was, it's not something they will tell me about it. This is getting more confusing by the minute. We need to find out more about this. I'll ask my stepmom. Perfect. Talk to her and get back to me. Okay, love. Talk soon. Hey, Angie. Guess what happened? You won't believe what I saw today. What happened, Anna? You got me curious now. Tell me all about it. So, I was at my fave iced coffee spot, sipping on my caramel macchiato, when guess who strolled in? Duke. Duke? Your ex? What was he up to at this time? Yes, he entered his game shop that's nurturous for cameras and shady dealers. My curiosity kicked in, and I was like, hmm, what is he doing in there? Whoa, hold up. That's shady. What did you do? I waited there for almost two hours, keeping an eye on the shop. Finally, Duke emerged from the shop, but he wasn't alone. He was accompanied by two dangerous-looking men. Jeez, Anna, this is legit scary. They hopped into Duke's ride and start cruising down that creepy road leading to the outskirts of town. Oh my god, not that road. That road has records of most kidnappings and bad stories. I'm telling you, Angie, super dangerous road. Okay, this is seriously freaking me out. It seems like Duke is really involved into something shady. Because this is shady. What did you do? Girl, I did the riskiest thing I've ever done my entire life. I flagged down a taxi and tailed them. What? This is legit scary. Tell me you didn't get caught. Now I was like a ninja in the shadow, blending in. And I told the driver to drive undetected. We drove all the way to his lonely house smack down in the middle of a massive field. Talk about eerie vibes. No way. I'd be so scared at that point. They went inside, and I asked the taxi man to leave before they came out. Anna, this confirms it. Duke is mixed up in some shady stuff for sure. I am super certain he is. But only time will tell. Super tired and exhausted from all the wannabe detective work I did today. Let me freshen up. Alright, babe. Keep me updated on any new developments. I will, Ange. Talk to you later. Anna, something insane just went down at our place. The police showed up with Bella and Nini, looking all distressed. They're looking for Duke. Wait, what? The police involved now? Why on earth are they looking for Duke? Apparently, he made off with some serious cash. I don't know the exact amount but it's enough to make Bella and Nini go all panic. The police didn't spill much since I don't know Duke's whereabouts. Whoa, that's a whole new level of shady. I always had a feeling he was up to no good. This confirms it though. I'm heading home to my fam, Anna. I'm done working for Duke. This is just too much. I'm also bringing Jason with me. Let me know your location so I can bring him over to you. Oh my god, Angie, thank you so much. Can't wait to see my baby. You're making the right choice by leaving, love. Your safety and well-being comes first. It's not worth being involved in someone like Duke. Thanks, Anna. I can't risk getting dragged further into this mess. You got this, girl. Just be super careful and alert and don't answer any questions without any lawyer involved. All right. All right. I appreciate you, Anna. You're an amazing friend. I'll be hitting the road shortly. What's your new address? I'm at Kington Ave. When you get there, let me know. All right. I'll be heading there soon. All right, love. Chat with you soon, Ange. Stay safe. Hey, Anna. Quick question. Do you happen to know where Duke is? I'm not in a loop with Duke's whereabout. It's best if you leave me out of whatever that concerns him and stop contacting me about him. Come on, Anna. You've got to know something. Just a little hint. I don't know where Duke is, and even if I did, I wouldn't be sharing that information. It's not my place, and I don't want to be involved. But it's really important! You have to tell me, Anna. Nini, when did I become Duke's caretaker? Some responsibility to whatever you have going on yourself. Fine. If you're gonna be like that, I thought we were family. But I guess I was wrong. Ugh, whatever, Anna. Family? This is hilarious. Y'all never took me as a family. Right after my father died, your mom turned me into an outcast. Now you're in trouble. And remember, I'm family. Uh, you're seriously evil, Anna. Abandoning your family in time of need. FYI, I'm no longer family with y'all. So keep me out of any mess you guys have. Bye. Yeah, whatever. Goodbye, Anna. 
Hey, Anna, are you there? I'm sorry about the way I talked earlier, but I really need your help. To be honest, I'm tired of all these dramas. Anna, please, I really need to find Duke. Like, I need to find him right now. Go meet Bella. She's the one dating Duke currently. She's the one dating Duke currently. Anna, please! Bella isn't dating Duke anymore. I snatched him away from her. Wow, this is interesting. Your jealousy isn't just towards me, but your own blood sister. Classic. Duke scammed me, and I'm so sad and distraught. My mom and the police are on my neck to provide Duke. Oh, Nini, sweetie. It seems like you are falling for Duke's little game, too. And now you want me to play detective for you? Sorry, but I'm not your personal investigator on the mat. I know, Anna. I'm sorry for to letting my jealousy control me. But I really need to find Duke. He ran away with $300,000 from our trust fund. What? You guys have trust fund? Meanwhile, I've been working five jobs to pay my bills and put myself through college. Your mom also denied ever knowing about my trust fund. I'm sorry, Anna. No wonder Duke started acting distant when I told him I knew nothing. Oh my god, he really wanted the trust fund. That was why he married to you at first. And when he realized you weren't the key to the funds, he diverted to us. I have no idea and I'm no longer married to Duke. So, it's not my problem. You all can sort out your messed up issues yourself. I know it's messed up, Anna. The trust fund was supposed to be there for the three of us. But mom converted it to only benefit me and Bella after dad passed away. I'm sorry about that. These are better from us. I'm desperate. We need that money back. Desperate times call for desperate measures, huh? But here's the thing, Nini. Your mess is not my mess. And I'm not about to dive into dumpster fire you're creating. Now y'all remember I'm family? Ha! Good luck though. He's enough. Help me find Duke. Please, I beg you. Nope. Not interested. Begging you, please reconsider. We really need your help. Begging, huh? Well, it's not good luck on you, Nini. But I'll give you credit for trying. Still, my answer remains the same. You're on your own, honey. Anna, I know you're skeptical, but this is serious. Our trust fund money was supposed to help us build a future. Alright. I'll help you find Duke. But in return, I want half of the trust fund. What? Anna! That's a lot. I can't do that. Well, it's either half of the trust fund or kiss the whole amount goodbye. Take it or leave it. <laughs> okay, fine. Let's meet up at the cafe in 30 minutes with your lawyer, so we can sign the agreement. No. Make it one hour. I'm not bending over backward for your desperation. See you then. Please, Anna. I'm really desperate. The police are on my neck. Please. Can we make it 30 minutes? Fine. Thir Fine. 30 minutes it is. Don't keep me waiting. Guess what, Angie? I'm swimming in a pool of cash now. I'm rich. Oh, really? To discover a hidden treasure or win the lottery. Nah, even better. So, Duke, my husband and your boss. Turns out he's a professional scammer. He should get an award for best con artist. He was always acting sneaky and shady. I knew he was hiding something. When he mandated me to stop cleaning his room and it was always lacking it. Plus, the incident you talked about the other day. I knew something wasn't right. Hope you didn't let him scam you. Even better, my love, Duke overheard my stepmom blabbering about a massive trust fund to her friends in the cafe. Can you believe it? Unbelievable! What happened next? Oh, it gets even more hilarious. Duke decided to trail my stepmom like some spy from a cheesy action movie. I can almost hear the Mission Impossible theme song playing. <laughs> Mission Impossible, trust fund edition. Well, he discovered that the trust fund was meant for me and my half-sisters. Sneaky Duke thought I was the golden ticket. He married me. Hoping I'd spill the trust fund secrets. Oh my god, this guy is an evil mastermind. He thought he hit the jackpot with me, but little did he know, I was clueless about the trust fund. What a desperate sucker. When Duke realized I was as clueless as a goldfish in a bowl, he moved on to my half-sisters after two years of being married to me. Nini, one of my half-sisters, fell for his scheme and gave him access to the trust fund. Nini gave him access? Unbelievable. I thought she was the less evil one. <laughs> well, hiding part. Two days ago, Nini came to me for help to find Duke. I agreed, but only on one condition. That they'll give me half of the trust fund. They accepted the deal. I took them and the police to Duke's hideout, which I discovered by trailing him that day. This is getting interesting. <laughs> the trust fund heist of the century. So, what happened next? We caught him red-handed with his gang at the hideout. However, Duke had already blown 150000 on gambling. Can you believe it? Ugh. What a scumbag. Gullible, ignorant, and stupid all in one person. 
The look on his face as the police led him to the vehicle was pure gold. <laughs> Let me guess. The remaining $150,000 is automatically yours. And your stepsisters and your stepmom are left with nothing? Bingo! <laughs> true, true. And now, I'm sitting pretty with my share of the trust fund. While my stepsisters and stepmom are left with empty pockets. Revenge is a dish best served with a side of financial security. You're a genius, babe. You can say that again. Well, serves them right. So, what's your plan now, Miss Rich? I'll do some investing along the line, but right now, I'm going house hunting. Want to join me? <laughs> Anywhere you go, I'll follow, my rich mistress. Thank you, Angie. Seriously, I'll never forget all your kindness and support throughout this mess. Aw, you know, I'll always be here for you. Enjoy your newfound wealth, girl.